people like myself and Mickey who were trying to get into the industry, we were playing safe. We were trying to find a set that was based on a whole series of gags, of punchlines where you could be safe. And what happened with Mickey, I think, at the beginning, I mean, he, I mean he'll tell you he had some terrible gags. Papa. Damn it. Alright, mate, I won't do that bit. Alright, well, no, no, I'm not going to do it now. You've killed it now. When you first hit the stage, you're looking for the audience to find what's funny in you. So I always thought it was funny that um, the Cockney was regarded as crafty. So I am from the East End of London and uh, Bethnal Green actually, so that qualifies me as a Cockney, whoopee. What is it they say about Cockneys? Apparently we're all crafty. We're a bit crafty from the East End, you know, which I don't like, it's not true. We're slippery. There is a difference. So I sort of said to Phil at the time, I think there's something in this crafty Cockney thing. And I said, you know, there's a dart player. <laughs> but you know I blame this crafty Cockney thing on most of all? Eric Bristow, the dart player. Because he used to call himself the crafty Cockney, didn't he? Phil said back to me, how crafty can you actually be as a dart player? And I said, that's it. That's the line. And he was like, yeah, we'll just do it. You know, so we have the kernel of a joke. And I always used to think, how crafty can you actually be as a dart player? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh. We're off. Did he try and get away from four darts or something? Laugh. A 240! <laughs> Hold on a minute, Eric. <laughs> Closing a nine, closing a nine. <laughs> you know, you can pop out, you can even go out, but you can't end up out. That would be good, wouldn't it? <sighs>